Testing one, two, testing. Testing one, two, testing. Testing one, two, testing. afternoon. Welcome to Just My Opinion Sports Talk with Big J. Coming to you from Plainfield, Illinois. Talking about the uh, NBA. A few things to talk about. Um, we had four games last night. I didn't get to see uh, all the games. I saw a little bit of uh, each one, but uh, the games that I kind of focused in on were the Denver uh, versus OKC, and of course Dallas and uh, versus San Antonio. Boston, of course, continued uh, their fast start to the season. Um, I think both Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen had good games, so uh, nothing really exciting there. But I think um, Let me see, what was the score? Celtics 122, um, the Wizards 102. So it wasn't even close. Looking at the box score, Jalen Brown, 27 and 8 rebounds. Uh, Tatum, 25 points, 11 rebounds. Derek White had a good game, 19 points. Uh, Drew Holiday, 7 points. Uh, 
Pritchard off, off the bench, scored 15, came in and shot 5 for 11. So, uh, looking at Washington, uh, Jordan Poole had led the team in scoring with 26 points. Uh, didn't shoot bad nine for 17, but I think he, he had scored like 17 in the first quarter. So that means he only scored nine points the rest of the game. So uh, he must have fell into some sort of a slump. Kuzman, only 12 points, played 27 minutes, two rebounds, shot six for 16. So... He was really kind of off. So then we look at the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Played with the San Antonio Spurs. Um, of course, looking at the box score for uh, San Antonio. Harrison Barnes, 17. Uh, Soshan, 18. Women Yam, 17. Champagne, 18. <laughs> I don't know any of these guys. Uh, Harrison Barnes and Women Yam, I guess the only ones that, oh, okay. You got Chris Paul. I guess in his uh, debut with the uh, San Antonio Spurs, and he, he only scored three points, 28 <clears throat> minutes. Let me see, he had eight assists, but he shot, let me see, one for six. Wimby Yama was for five, five for 18, so he had a terrible shooting night. Warren, seven for 10. But now the one thing I want to say about Wimben Yama, I think that uh, he still doesn't know how to take advantage of his size. I mean, looking at him on the court, he's like looks like he's at least a, a foot taller than everybody on the court. But for some reason, he has trouble scoring on the inside. And one thing I noticed is uh, he doesn't he doesn't uh, know how to do a jump hook or any type of hook shot. When he gets that close to the basket, he always tries to man maneuver He always tries to maneuver always trying to maneuver uh, to get a jump shot whether it's fade away or or whatever he's uh, trying to get a jump shot so um, I don't know if that's just coaching a friend of mine think that's coaching but I think it's up to the individual player to develop uh, you know their skill set so I really can't blame it on uh, you know on coaching so sorry for that little break we had uh, kind of lost the connection but I think I'm uh, back on track now. So anyway, where were we?
The other thing I want to say about um, San Antonio Spurs, I actually thought that uh, Chris Paul would have a bigger impact. He only scored three points, seven rebounds, eight assists, but I thought he would have a better effect on Wimbiyama. I think they did do one lob pass that he threw to Wimbiyama, but that was the only one I saw in the game. So, but, you know, it's only one game. We're going to have to uh, give him a chance to develop, you know, work the kinks out. Uh, Wimbiyama looks like he has gotten a little bigger. Maybe he's got stronger. So, Hopefully that'll make a difference, but he has to learn how to get inside down low. Cause I mean, he gets the ball inside, close to the basket, he should be able to just dunk on any anybody. Should be no way to stop him. So um, that's gonna take training, I guess. And of course, uh, Dallas uh, looking at the box score. Clay Thompson is the key figure there, making his debut with the Dallas Mavericks. Let me say this out of uh, full disclosure. I hate that Thompson went to Dallas. I wanted him to go to LA, but on the other hand, I understand why he did go to Dallas. You know, he seems to be a perfect fit. Dallas needed shooting, and uh, he's the perfect uh, person, uh, you know, for that. He's, he's going to... Um, He's going to get open shots, you know, with Luca, the playmakers, uh, Kyrie. He's going to get a ton of open shots, so he just has to hit them. I think he shot uh, seven for thirteen, and but he was six for ten on three points shots. Uh, Luca had a relatively quiet shooting night. Shot nine for twenty-five. Nine for twenty-five, but he still scored twenty-eight points, ten ass ten rebounds, eight assists. So almost a triple double. Uh, Derek Lively, uh, 15 points, 11 rebounds. He's really a key for them. I, that guy has plenty of uh, energy. So, if Clay shoots like he's capable of shooting and he's consistent, Dallas is going to be a problem. They made it to the finals last year. So, I don't see why they can't do it this year, although uh, I would hate to see that happen. But uh, it very well could, could happen. The final score of that game was Mavericks 120, Spurs 109. Then we come to the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves against the uh, Sacramento. Okay, here's the key. Julius Randle traded for Carl Anthony Towns. Um, I keep losing my connection. Why is that?
technical difficulties here. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened. Thing uh, seemed like it went to sleep. But anyway, Julius Randle traded in for um, Carl Anthony Towns. Um, when Minnesota played uh, the Lakers on their opening night, Randall didn't have that great a game, but I guess uh, maybe he's figured things out. He had uh, led the team in scoring with 33 points, uh, shooting 13 for 17. And uh, Anthony Edwards had 32 points, shot 10 for 24. So uh, he had a less than stellar shooting night, but... Um, they were able to win that game 117-115. So maybe uh, Randall will fit in after all. Uh, Sacramento, DeRozan making his debut with Sacramento. Actually led the team in scoring with 26 points, 8 rebounds. But he only shot seven for 18. Darren Fox only had 15 points and 11 assists. So you wonder if uh, DeRozan is going to be taking, you know, some of the production from uh, Darren Fox. If that's the case, then. Uh, that may not have been a, a, a good trade to bring DeRozan in on that, but we'll see. That's all one game. So now, finally, we want to look at uh, the old Denver and the Thunder. Of course, Denver uh, made few changes. They got this uh, Christian Brown in the starting lineup. No more uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope. Uh, Jamal Murray, you know, signed a max contract, but, uh, you know, he's been struggling you know, everybody knows about his issues in the Olympics for Team Canada, and seemed like he was had been hurt, but he only scored 12 points and playing 38 minutes. Shot four for 13. So, Joker had triple double, 16, 12, and 13. But uh, he shot six for 13. So Michael Porter Jr., 15 points, five for 17. So nobody uh, other than Brown shot over 50%. Brown had 16 points. So OKC. The young team, but uh, and they didn't even have their full team, and uh, they had no problems handling Denver, winning 102 to 87. Led in scoring, of course, by Gilgis Alexander had 28 points, although he shot only 11 for 24. Second leading scorer was Chet Holmgren. Had 25, but he had 14 rebounds. You know, with his little self. <laughs> He's so skinny. But uh, he did a good job on the boards. And that's really what they they needed, rebounding. They, they actually lost 
last year to uh, the Mavericks, probably because of uh, offensive rebounding and the lack of uh, rebounding. So they're a, still a young team, but uh, they are good. So they're considered, you know, they actually, I think, uh, uh, won the West last year. And so they're expected to be up there again. And, and with a year of experience, uh, they could be a problem. It's going to be interesting to see when they go against uh, Dallas and see how that pans out. But uh, I, I like OKC. I, I think I'm going to actually start rooting for them other, if my team, the Lakers, don't make it. Um, Looking tonight, we have um, 76ers playing the Raptors. You got the Nets and the Magic, Pacers and the Knicks, and Pistons and the Cavaliers. You got the Hornets and the Hawks, Bulls and but oh, you, you got a full skate of Warriors and Jazz, Lakers and the Sun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games tonight. So the NBA is going to be in full swing tonight. So uh, I don't know what's happened with the 76ers. Embiid, if he's going to play or not, I don't, I don't know. He didn't play in the first game. So, you know, we'll see. Magic's looking good so far. Um, Pacers. Knicks now. Everybody was kind of high on the Knicks. So now they got rid of uh, Car uh, Randall, which a lot of people were, were complaining about him, especially in the playoffs. But uh, we'll see what Cat does if he actually is an improvement we don't know yet Cavaliers uh, 1-0 they had a good opening game against Toronto I think that's who they played so Pistons are actually even looking a little better uh, they they barely lost to uh, I think it was the, the Pacers that the Pistons lost to but um, they actually uh, are looking a little better, especially with Cade uh, Cunningham, you know, leading the way on that for that team. So uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, uh, the Bucks and the Bulls. We'll see if Damian Lillard can maintain health and consistency. Uh, Rockets, we'll see what happens with them. Grizzlies, John ja Morant. Uh, I think his last game out, he scored 22 points, but uh, see if he can keep, stay healthy. Of course, the Warriors are, for some reason, they're, they're, they look good they're now. The Warriors got that replacement of Clay Thompson with, to me, an equally good shooter, and that's uh, Buddy Hill. And uh, he looked good in his debut with uh, the Warriors. So Pelicans, we'll see what they're going to do. They won their first game. Uh, Lakers playing the Suns. This is going to be a good test because the Suns, uh, <clears throat> theoretically improved themselves by uh, getting um, uh, a point guard. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see um, is that Makes a 
different. Uh, you know, they won their first game. They beat the Clippers 116-113 in, in overtime. But uh, Tyus Jones is the point guard, and he's supposed to be making a difference uh, with the three scores, Booker, Kevin Durant, and uh, Bradley Beal. So this will be a good test for the Lakers to see if the Lakers are for real. You know, Lakers beat uh, Minnesota on opening night on Tuesday, and um, even with a bad shooting night, they still end up winning that game. So uh, this is going to be a real good test for the Lakers tonight playing Phoenix. So that's kind of uh, my thoughts on that. Just my opinion. Um, I don't, not sure who's going to be favored to win. I, I, I'm going to try to sort that out and give you my predictions uh, a little later. Probably I'm going to wait you know, maybe the first 30 days, get see the teams, how they play, what their records are before I start making any predictions. I think people uh, try to assess who's going to win too soon because you really don't, you really don't know. So, anyway, that's going to be all for me and, uh, Check you guys next time. Just my opinion. <laughs>